It's just like getting to play pretend in like the best way possible. In this class, haptic media, I mean that's the thing, we're learning uh, what the definition of haptic is and there's so many definitions but it definitely combines the, the like idea of touch, emotion and technology. So haptics could be anything that like make you feel something physical or emotional from when you play a video game on a PlayStation and then the controller like rumbles or vibrates in your hand. If you play a game that's like very emotional to you, you might start crying. If you're watching a horror movie, you might be like afraid and start like shivering. I think it's a great cross section of technology and the arts and also community essentially. What I focus on in the class is looking at the sense of touch really broadly, uh, whether that's through emotional expression in different forms, whether that's through developing relationships with virtual characters or even relationships between players. And this is called the intimacy exploration. So essentially, we're presenting projects that foster intimacy between player and game. My group and I created a smoker's version of operations. <laughs> so we grab the cigarette, which is the conductor, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and investigate this patient. My favorite. Ay! Don't touch me there. This project is like, it's essentially like a kind of virtual pet Tamagotchi. And right now it's in the teen stage. Um, this teenager doesn't really like affection, so as it grows up, it'll start saying things like this. And it says, Ugh, I, you're just too much. I can't take this anymore. You're kind of left to think about how the more attention that you care for somebody, then sometimes that means like the faster they might change or leave your life, but then eventually they return. But it's a kind of sad, melancholy ending. I definitely think that this class has like pushed me to look at different modes of digital media and like what is possible to like be made. So you, throughout the class, have to um, incorporate any physical sensation that you use or any custom control interface with some kind of emotional goal for how you want the player or the user to experience it. And that second part is where I see a lot of growth with the students. Like, they come in with technical skills, they come in with art making skills, and then they start thinking conceptually about like, how can I shape this experience?